Hi, in the last video we will talk about how to set up the network switch to handle more than 100 IP cameras. Basically we need to have the edge switch and the cool switch. If we have tail floor properly we need to have tail edge switch. The edge switch is the PoE switch, it can supply the power for the camera. And we choose the industry network switch for the cool switch just like this one. The reason we choose the industry grid network switch is because it can take in redundancy power source. We can use two power source to supply the single switch. If one power source is go down, the other will take over. The connection between the edge switch and the code switch will use the fiber optic cable. The one thing we have done is we have devised the code switch into different section. You see, we have more than 100 camera coming from the edge, right? If we, de we don't divide the code switch into different section, the traffic may join each other. We use the VLAN to separate the network. For example, for all the data coming from the first floor, we assign the, the port to the VLAN 101. And so the data will taking, be taken by VLAN 101. The, net, the first network video recorder connect to one of these R345 network port, we also assign to the VLAN 101. So the data from the first floor will go straight directly to the first MVR. We will do the same for the second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. After we set up the VLAN, this floor, the data between these four, they are not going to see each other. So we simplified, simplified the whole network and divide the network into different sections. Basically, we can handle more than 100 cameras because the system just become very small. The data from the first floor will go to the first MVR and they are not going to change or interfere from each other. We also said we will, we will talk, take you to go through the control and display system. Okay, now let's move to the demonstration sort and see how we can control all this NVR and display the video to the different monitor. Here I'm taking three network video recorder and one PC server as an example. If we don't have control system, we need to have three mouse plus one keyboard. If we are adding more network video recorder, we're getting more mouse. So it's very difficult for the operator to operate the NVR. So you have a lot of mouse on the table, and you need to figure out which mouse match to which MVR. Here I use the control system. I just need one keyboard plus the one mouse. I can control all this network video recorder plus the PC server. Here we got the hotkey. We can switch the hotkey to switch from different network video recorder. Now this is the first network video recorder. I can click operate the setting. If I want to switch the second one, right now we are getting the Second one, this is the second one. Also can switch to the PC server. This is the PC server. And let's go deep and see how we set up. We need to this need to have this network switcher. We got input. This is the three input from two network video recorder and one PC server. The bottom connection connection, this is the USB. So we got the mouse control. Here we got the output. Output we have one output is HDN output, it's linking to the monitor we saw just now. We got the keyboard and also the mouse and the power. So that, that would be it. You, with this network switcher, we can switch in this, all the device and output to a single monitor. This is one thing. Now we can have more network be recorder, even the maximum input is eight, eight units. So we can totally have eight network video recorder or with some PC server. The second thing is about the display. You see, we just have single monitor. It's okay for the operator. He can operate the easy, operate all the device, and just with single mouse and the keyboard. But for the display, sometimes we still need the monitor, right? We may need some extra monitor to display the, the, the video on this monitor. So here we got the display metric. I can use the tablet to connect the output from this network video recorder or the PC server to some of this screen. We can have a really large big TV. And for example, if I want to switch to the, the second network video to recorder to this monitor, I just need to choose the input and also the screen. Now it's just switch to the second network video recorder. I also can switch the PC server to this screen, there will be no problem. Now we're getting the PC server, and I can just get the first network video recorder back to the 
set the first screen. Now we get in the first network video recorder on the first screen. The logic is, the thing is we can output any of the screen to this, output any of the device to this screen. If the boss come in, if we, we want to check which one of the NVR or the PC server, we can easily use the table lab to change the display on the monitor. Now let's see how we get this done. Here we got the display metric. This is the display metric. We're taking the input from this network video recorder and the PC server. I also need to use this one in to output HDMI splitter to duplicate the signal. Because one of the output is going to the NVR switch, right? So we need to duplicate the output and just getting the video to this video metric. And then we can use the, the this machine is connecting to a network. That's the reason why I can use the table lab to connect to the Wi-Fi and use the web browser to switching the video to different monitor. All right, that's all today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.